From the minute you're born, you're dying. Every cell in your body contains DNA. It's the stuff that makes you, you. It's the reason your eyes are brown, the reason your hair is straight. It's even the reason you might hate dark chocolate. It's the genetic blueprint for life. But that DNA is under attack, constantly. From that first sip of morning coffee that slightly scalds your tongue, from the sun on your skin as you leave your house, and even by every other cell in your body. But it's okay, because you've got a DNA repair kit. Right there nestled in your DNA are genes, the small sections of DNA that repair other broken bits of DNA. But what happens when the bits that are meant to repair DNA get broken themselves? Well, best case scenario is aging. Worst case scenario is death. And somewhere in between there's cancer. But some animals don't abide by these rules. This is hydractinia. It's a little sea jelly. And the cool thing about it is, in essence, it's immortal. It doesn't get cancer and it doesn't age. You can chop off its head and it'll grow a new one. It can even grow a new body from the head that you just chopped off. You can blast it with 500 gray of radiation. That's about 700,000 chest x-rays all at once. A human would die from just five gray. But how do they do all this? Well, it's all to do with stem cells. See, every cell in your body started life as a stem cell. But once it had become your heart, your lung, or your liver, it couldn't go back again. Except for once, that is. When you were an embryo, just a small collection of cells in your mum's tummy, you had the potential to go on to be anything. But once you were born, the fate of those cells was sealed. And that's where hydractinia is different. See, their stem cells, these little green things here, exist in a permanently embryonic state. They can always go on to be any other cell. And what's even cooler is, once they've picked a function, like a tentacle or a mouth, they can turn back into a stem cell if they're under pressure and then become any other cell again. But how do they do all of this? Well, it's all in their DNA. They've got that DNA damage repair kit too. And what if I told you that your DNA is 60% identical to theirs? That's right. What makes you, you, is what makes this little guy, this little guy. So why are we so rubbish at repairing our DNA then? Well, the truth is, we don't really know. And we don't really know why hydractinia are any better, because they've got exactly the same genes. Some people say it could be to do with them having more copies of those genes. Some people say they might be better at using that repair kit. Or maybe they just get on the job faster. Well, me and other scientists are researching how they do it. And hopefully, one day, we can unlock those mechanisms in you to get rid of your wrinkles, cure cancer, or maybe even make you live forever.